Hey guys, what's up? So this is some crazy stuff taking place in Kentucky. I went to Kentucky once real quick. I didn't see anything crazy like this going on, but mall mayhem. Apparently over a thousand teens shut down a Kentucky mall. It doesn't sound like from the, I'll just gloss over this article. It doesn't sound like they were trying to be like disruptive per se, but maybe they were just trying to like kind of, I don't know, be cool or whatever, do stuff. But it says here between a thousand and two hundred, a thousand and two thousand teens showed up at this Louisville, Kentucky mall uh, today, St. Matthews in Louisville, Kentucky, whatever, Saturday night around seven p.m. So this happened about an hour uh, last night, Saturday night, the twenty sixth, around seven p.m. They said there was some fighting, but mostly just loitering, people refusing to leave businesses. Why I find this interesting is because society and generally people will protest but only like like you think of the million man march million man march you think about protests that are sanctioned at a certain day and you go down main street and then you're done or whatever the idea that kids are thinking wow we are a lot of kids if we all pass around a note in school and said let's all show up here or there we have power in numbers i think that that's potentially bad but as they grow up and they think of that maybe they'll think of it as opposed to just doing all your power through the ballot box at voting you could actually have an effect, um, you know, by just protesting on a more regular basis in, in little areas of life as opposed to only waiting for big problems to happen, you know. So that's kind of cool. It does say that once the cops showed up, no one was arrested. And um, it says a lot of the juveniles are being confrontational, officers being cussed at, yelled at, harassed. So that's, I think, not good. Not that I'm saying you should always just respect everything a cop says, but not good because it's just not good for the kids, actually, because cops will probably arrest kids like that eventually. And I, I believe you don't go toe to toe with cops. If you have a problem, you know, do a YouTube video or write your congressman or, you know, make a bumper sticker. But if you go to a cop, they're just going to put you in cuffs. They, you know, that's their job. That's what they're trained to do. So it's interesting that nobody got arrested. There's a couple thousand kids there. I think the cops in Louisville, Kentucky, are probably more of the more reasonable cops in the nation based on that fact alone, just the numbers involved. But over 450 people have shared this article already, so I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to do a quick video. This Emily Shapiro wrote this for uh, ABC News, so you could find this source on your own. Um, but, you know, no big, big takeaway, but just the power of numbers. And maybe if these kids learn from this and say, you know, if we all showed up at a company that we didn't approve of as a protest or something, we could get them to change their policies or something as opposed to just doing it to look cool or whatever. So let me know, as usual, what you think in the comments, and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Peace.